Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Victor's Valiant. Conquering heroes. That's what the Wolverines want to be today. The big house is going to be alive, and in moments, the maize and blue will run out. They'll tap the banner and hope that they'll say hail, hail to Michigan leaders and best. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. It's fielded at the two. Oh, man, did he take a hit. The Wolverines and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. It seems like every game this guy's in the offense's backfield bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. was the intended target on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Calls for the fair catch. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. One play and he'll lose yards. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 39. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture perfect defense on that drive. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Miller takes it at the 20, and he's tackled at the 26. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. On the ground, up the middle. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. <laughs> Makes it to the 47. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 49. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it 35. From the 49-yard line. It's third down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That'll bring up fourth and five. Hines awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverines really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Five wide. The defender had it and then dropped it. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Is the punter. Miller takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out, they've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. It's a bad play overall by the offense. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. He wants it all. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. 
and he's level at the 23. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 32. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. at the 33. So the running back comes away with a short gain on the play, and he also gets a first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains, and that's all that matters. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. That's a gain of four. That'll make it second to seven. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We played one quarter. Still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. that one in. Tackle made at the 41. Call it a gain of 15 yards. First down. I got him, I got him. Hey, look, 48. Hey, look, Mike, 48. Let's go. Go! Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, He gets hit out of bounds around the 35-yard line. And he's taken down at the 24. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Check four, check four. Let's go, D. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Caught out of the open. And he tackles him hard at the 11. Call a gain of seven yards. First down. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Two times, two times. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down at the four yard line. That makes it third and three. Dumps it right to his fullback. Touchdown, Irish! He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
So a 12 play 77 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. You know Brad a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback. And the receiver. He'll return it from the four yard line. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Now he tries to buy some time. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Throws incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Fires this one. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll make it fourth and 14. Jack, back to return it. Jack fields it at the 38. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Notre Dame is up seven. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. At the 29. And he's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and eight. Across the middle, and he's tackled at the 21 yard line. Harrington makes the tackle at the 21 yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation, this crowd comes to play themselves. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Each time you run an option, a big play is possible. This time they came up big on third down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Notre Dame is up a score. Dumps it out left to the running back, and he hits him hard at the eight-yard line. Notre Dame is hoping to make this a two-score game. Yeah. 
He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he has it on the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Michigan's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else. I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days you prep and you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. And then you go out there and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got the corner. He's at midfield. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual-threat quarterback. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Gets it. He's in space. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. Scrambling. White picks up a yard on the scramble. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away. And he's got it. Only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime. I would expect them to squib kick this one. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Notre Dame up seven points. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 10-3, Fighting Irish. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's, it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out and, and that's what we're seeing today we've done what we can do here at halftime time to get you back out to the second half we'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football red nestler and kirk herb street ready with a call All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. Oh, man, did he take a hit. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. complete and taken down immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Hey, 
Gets out to about the 31. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So the penalty makes it third and five. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Let's go. Got a man. Watch out here. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Notre Dame is up seven. Stepping up. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Illegal touching. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. Third and five now, following the defensive penalty. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 47. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 38. Picks up five on the scramble. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 38. Caught with room to work. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 44-yard line, first down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. Field, and he is drilled at the 45-yard line. Man, From the 45-yard line, it's third down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. 
The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Hines wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking Kaufman corner on this one. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Notre Dame is up a score. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gain of 16 yards. First two times, two times. They'll drop him for a loss. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Got a man tackled for a loss. tough places to play in college football and it's no different today and that'll bring up a punting situation yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Harris awaits the snap he's to the 40 Brought down at the 42-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 41. So at the end of three, the Fighting Irish lead 10-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Two down, two down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come the 48. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Yeah. Yeah. Brought down around the 26-yard line. three yard line Williams gets three yards on the play that makes it second and eight from the 23 yard line second down he fights forward to about the 20 a couple maybe three yards on that run on the play. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Hey, 
Finds his receiver who's all alone. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets to about the eight yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the eight yard line, second down. Watch 19, watch 19. Just under three to go in regulation. Pitches out of the ball is up for grabs. Recovered by the defense. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It can still go either way. pressure and he's going to be sacked for a loss well, we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick in the shotgun and five wide outs Incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. Third down and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Miller back deep to return. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. The Wolverines have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. the 34 yard line it's first down a little over a minute in the game that close to being intercepted tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. Spikes the ball.
Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. He scrambled. And he's tackled around the eight-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the two-yard line. It, and he's got a touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He got it! Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. The defense puts an end to the no-huddle offense by calling timeout. Hines has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. Wants to go long and does. We're going to overtime. the end of the fourth quarter and we are headed to overtime well we played an hour and it's still not enough we're set to kick off here in overtime throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 25-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bruins rolled into the game in the top 15, but believing that this is a top 10 football team, it felt as if the game rested on every play. Butler smooth coming out of his breaks, and he sure handed around the goal line, and it resulted in a pair of touchdown catches. UCLA wins it 21-17. Touchdown difference, Reese, 17-10 here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Fires it out. Breaks a tackle and he could go. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17. That makes it second and two. Let's it fly. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And down he goes. 
right around the 20. Loss of three yards on the play. Receiver for the touchdown. So with their backs against the wall, they find a way. Get ready for another overtime, folks. There is nothing more exciting than watching four down football in overtime. What a game today. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Folks, we're heading to overtime number two. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Taken down at the 22. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Kicks up, and he's got it. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. From the 25-yard line, first down. Tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. And they back up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. At the 24. They can't hear a thing down there. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle right around the 24 yard line. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. And if two overtimes weren't enough, we are going to a third. And extra points are no longer allowed. If anyone scores a touchdown, they've got to go for two. Decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. And they make the stop at the 19. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throws this one out to the right. 
The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. to his tailback. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Ortiz makes the tackle at the 22-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's taken down right around the two-yard line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. This one is over. What a finish to this football game. Neither team showed any quit the entire game. And how about the effort to come up with a winning touchdown after such an amazing battle throughout the ball game? I've got to say, this has been just one outstanding football game. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? This is exactly what we expected, isn't it? Two very closely matched teams, and a full game wasn't even enough to decide this game. They had to persevere a lot to prevail. Michigan had their work cut out for them today, but they were up against a team very similar to them in a lot of ways. And those are always the toughest matchups. It took a lot to get this victory. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.